Hey everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Sunday, October 18, 2015. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and today is the day the Keshi Star Formation Plasma Reactor is running. So yes, you heard right. The experiment is underway. The Keshe plasma reactors are spinning at approximately 2,500 RPM. All three of them, the three lower ones, are spinning in the clockwise direction. The top one, if viewed from the same angle from the top, is spinning in the counterclockwise direction so that they are uh, counterpoised against each other. Uh, if you want to view this machine running in real time so in case perhaps you might see some anomalous behavior uh, just follow the link posted below that's my live Ustream video feed I will leave this experiment running 24 7 uh, this this machine has been running now for a little bit over an hour according to Vince who and some of the other Kesh apostles who helped guide me through the construction process of this device they said I should see some sort of anomalous behavior within an hour or two. Um, Vince said that he saw some variations in the motor speed, plus or minus 700 RPMs. I'm not seeing quite that much. I'm seeing the top motor spinning at about 120 RPM faster than the lower ones. The lower ones are at 2530, and the, uh, the top one is at 2650 right now. So there's about a 120 rpm difference but it's very stable it's not it's not shifting around and the 3d printed globes that that i made uh are spinning very true on the shafts i'm very pleased with that and i fully expect that the that the gans material inside is going to as was shown in in uh, this next photo that i'm about to show you uh this was posted to twitter this is what actually happens to the gans material when it's spun inside the, the, the globes here. It's centrifuged to the outside walls because it is a powder in solution and uh, it simply uh, is pressed against the outside walls and the top and bottom end up being exposed to the nano-coated material that is inside. Uh, I want to take you back a couple of steps, however, because uh, coming up in the next video clip I'm about to show you, I actually go through how I did the copper vapor deposition process inside the Keshe plasma reactors. Uh, we've got uh, the copper wire filament loaded on my alligator clips that are protruding through the plastic uh, LDPE. doesn't really matter what you use, just a couple of quarter inch holes so that you can cover the explosion because it is quite loud. Uh, and while we're waiting for the capacitors to charge up, I'll point out that the, the nice smooth bend on the loop actually has a very large impact on the pattern that the uh, copper is vaporized and deposited onto the surface above it. You can actually use the shape of the loop to direct the majority of your, of your copper stream onto the substrate. So let's uh, turn it up and uh, take two. Here we go. In three, two, one. And that was actually a dud. So that's what happens when you get a dud. You just get a little strip of uh, copper deposition inside. When it really goes bang, you actually get a, a nice wide pattern and a good layer of, of copper deposited. I don't know why that was such a dud, but uh, we'll try this again. Load the wire up. Very uh, 
back up. And I will um, face it 90 degrees to the direction I had it before. Alright, we're all charged up. In three, two, one. Now that's what I'm talking about. And the end result of that is a very nice wide layer of copper. I'm going to dust off the carbon on top of that and you'll see. So here's, here's what a good blast will yield when you hit it with a good high, high current, high voltage pulse. And the pattern was dictated by the shape of the loop, believe it or not. And now that I've dusted off the uh, the carbon layer, you get a good look at the the copper sheen. That has been laid down. That's a really nice one. That was a good hit right there. So that's how I'm doing it. Please don't do this at home. And you can also see it on the rim because the uh, the explosion is so violent that even though I'm pressing down very hard on this half shell, it uh, it lifts it up just high enough where some of the uh, copper is deposited along the edge. And when I glue these together, they become one. And the way I check it is I'm I'm holding it up to the light and looking to make sure that I get no light through, so that I know I have a uh, heavy enough layer deposited and that takes that takes quite a few quite a few hits I want to say 20 or 30 hits uh, in order to do that and then in this next video clip you see how I use this syringe with a 1 16th inch outside diameter needle to fill the plasma balls with the liquid GANS that was created in the uh, in the electrolysis process earlier in the experiment that has already been shown. So that's it. Uh, we're just now waiting for anomalous behaviors. And uh, needless to say, I won't be holding my breath while we're waiting to do that. But if you would like to, if you're one of the, the Kesh faithful worshipers, feel free to hold your breath while you wait for, for this to uh, produce some anomalous behavior, okay? Uh, it will be running for your pleasure, like I said, 24-7. I have my close-up cam facing the star formation. I have the LED uh, lamp turned on and it will show up even in darkness. And if something happens, be sure to, be sure to alert the authorities, okay? Um, to give you an idea of the absurdity of the belief system of some of the Kesh faithful worshipers, and the blindness of the Kesh faithful worshippers. It was actually suggested to me by one of said people that I could actually produce GANs in solution by taking the nano-coated copper plate and the zinc plate on the outside of the container holding saline solution and I would still form GANs in between. Well, Guess what? Three weeks, no GANs. 
and no surprise because there's no current flowing and if you don't have current flowing you don't get the electrolysis process that releases the zinc oxide from the zinc plates in solution but uh, I didn't say that okay it's it's really co2 gans yeah that's right it's that magical mystical material uh, in any event <laughs> uh, when this experiment is over yeah who knows maybe sterling will put this on his mantle next to the parendive motor that he has at uh, Pez Wiki <laughs> and uh, he can display it to, to all of his followers as well. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little update on the Cashy Plasma, Plasma Reactor experiment. I will keep it running for, I don't know, however long it takes. This, this will probably run for maybe a couple of weeks. We'll see if we see any anomalous behaviors and uh, see what happens. Thank you all for watching. As always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And peace, everyone. And in three, two, one. <laughs> yes, uh, helps if I turn the power switch on. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>